Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, we will explore Gemini Code Assist. Gemini Code Assist is an AI coding agent extension which is developed by Google and you can use it for free in Visual Studio Code and JetBrain based editor. Gemini Code Assist offers real time code suggestions, automatic code completions. You can also edit multiple files and generate and transform full functions or a complete code file using natural language. With Gemini Code Assist, you can make 6000 code related requests and 240 chat requests every day. To download Visual Studio Code or a JetBrain based editor, you can just click on this link. It will redirect you to the installation part where you can download any of the IDE, either Visual Studio Code or JetBrain based editor. So Gemini Code Assist offer also offers access to Gemini CLI. So Gemini CLI is an open source AI agent that brings the power of Gemini directly into your terminal. I have already created a separate video in which I have already explained how to set up and install Gemini CLI. If you haven't watched it, you can just watch it and set up and install Gemini CLI into your terminal. After the release of Gemini CLI, Google added agent mode in Gemini Code Assist extension. So basically, Agent Mood transforms Gemini Code Assist into a very collaborative pair programmer. We can give Gemini Code Assist a complex multi-step programming task and it will write the code for us. We can edit our code base, ask for changes in the code base. And after the Gemini Code Assist uh, gives, uh, provide us a response like to our coding question, we can either approve the code change or we can also deny that code change as well. And the Gemini Code Assist agent mode also supports multi-file code editing as well. So this is a quick intro about Gemini Code Assist. You can further explore it. You can just check out the documentation and uh, other like prototypes uh, like these all these details as well. And here you can either install download Visual Studio Code extension or either you can download the JetBrain based plugin as well. Okay. And uh, like you can see that uh, there are different packages that Gemini Code Assist offers. And uh, like we will be using the zero dollar per month package. And as per your requirements, you can just choose either a standard package as well as the enterprise package as well. Okay. So these are all the details that are included in the standard or enterprise package or in the free package as well. Okay. So this is a quick intro about Gemini Code Assist. Let move towards the uh, coding part and let's add Gemini Code Assist, Assist extension into our Visual Studio port. So let's go ahead with this. So over here you can see that I have created a project in Visual Studio Code. First I will just click over here extensions and I will download the Gemini Code Assist extension over here. So I will just write Gemini Code Assist. Okay. And I will just install this Gemini Code Assist extension. Like you can see that uh, it has over 1 million downloads and the rating is currently very poor. Because uh, the previously the agent mode was not added in Gemini Code Assist. They have recently added the agent mode in Gemini Code Assist. So this rating will improve as the time goes ahead. Now you can see that we have installed the Gemini Code Assist extension. And if I just open this now. So now you can see that here we have this Gemini Code Assist extension. Okay, so this will take few seconds. Okay, so now you can see over here, that's what. And you can see that. Okay, now you can see here we have the feedback form. You can submit a feedback from this form as well. So I've already signed in, but I will sign out and show you how you can uh, sign in with Gemini Code Assist. So if you want to sign in, you can just click on this sign in button from here and I will just click on open from here. And I can log in with any of my Gmail accounts. So I will just choose this account from here and click on sign in from here. So you just need a Google account to sign in with Gemini Code Assist. 
So you can see then that Gemini Code Assist and the Gemini CLI are not authorized to assess your account. So I, you can see that I'm just signed in now. Okay, and you can just set your privacy settings as well. Okay. So that looks good. Now you can see that the agent mode isn't visible yet. We need to enable the agent mode. So I will just go back over here. So now you can see that uh, you can see over here Gemini Code Assist pair driver pair developers with AI agent capable of performing wide range of actions. So we just need to connect Gemini Code Assist with the agent mode. Okay, we just need to add the agent mode in our Gemini Code Assist. So we can just click on try it now from here. We just need to simply copy this code from here. Okay, and they have written that you just need to press Ctrl Shift P and select open user settings.json. Okay, now we'll just go back to the Visual Studio code. Now I will just do Ctrl Shift P. Okay. And I will just click on open user settings JSON. If it's not available, you can just simply write open user settings JSON. Okay, and here I will just add the port and just save this now. Okay, now this will set up the agent mode. So now you can see currently it's updating. So this will take few seconds. Now you can see over here, we have the agent mode in Gemini Code Assist. Let's enable the agent mode and test its capability. So over here, I will pass the instructions over here. So over here, I have already written these instructions, which I'm passing over here. So let's read it. Build the following app. Think shortly about its features and how to build it. But keeping code minimal should be part of your thinking process. App name is object detection using YOLO V8. So now I just need to create a simple streamlit web application where the user can upload an image and it will do object detection on that image and it will also display the input image as well as output image with detection. So we want to create a simple streamlit web application where the user can upload an input image. It will display the input image and then it will perform the object detection on that input image and then it will display the output image with uh, bounding boxes being drawn around the detected object. So there will be bounding boxes being drawn around each of the detected object. So if you don't know, YOLO V8 is a state-of-the-art object detection algorithm that is used to detect object in images, videos, and in the live webcam feed. So the main function is a simple web app using Python and Streetlit where the user can upload an input image and it will perform the object detection on that input image using YOLO V8 and then display the output image with detection on the web app. Keep it very simple and we want web app using Streamlit. We want to create a web app using Streamlit where the user can upload an input image. Object detection on that input image will be performed and we will display the output image with detections. So let's pass this instructions. So now you can see that it's constituting the thinking. So first of all, it wants to install the Ultralytics package because YOLO V8 is available under the Ultralytics package and we want to install the Streamlit library because we are creating a web application using Streamlit. So I will just, uh, first it needs to install these two packages, Ultralytics and Streamlit. So I will just accept these changes. So now if you just see over here, we have created a requirements.txt file. In this, we have the Streamlit package and the Ultralytics package. Okay. So now it has uh, written the code for the app.fi file. So you just want to write it. Okay. So now you can see over here, we have the app.py file. Here we have the code to perform object detection using YOLO V8 on the input image. So we will be creating a streamlit web app where the user can upload an input image and it will perform object detection on that input image. Okay. So that looks quite promising. Okay, now if I just see over here, so now you can see that it's saying that you can just 
run this i have created the app.py and requirements.txt file now i will install the required libraries using pip this will set up the environment to run this application so it wants to install the packages by running the requirements.txt file so i will just click on run So now you can see that we have installed the Streamlit and Ultradix package. Now the application is now ready. To start the web app, we run the following command. Okay, so we can simply run this command. So now I will just open terminal. Uh, but let's try. Uh, we can say that is run the Streamlit app. And let's see if it can run the Streamlit app or not. Otherwise, I can just open the terminal and write this string later on. Okay. So, let's. So, now you can see it has run the string red app. And let's test our app now. So, here is our string red web application. I will just upload an image over here. Okay. So, this is our input image. And let's see if you are able to detect the bus person in this input image or the stop sign as well. So now you can see that, uh, like very good results. Now you can see that we are able to detect the person, uh, the stop sign, the bus as well. So the detection results look very promising. Okay. And you can test on some other images as well and see if it is able to do object detection as well. So in this tutorial, we have seen that how we can use Gemini Code Assist agent and like uh, create different projects as well. Like in this tutorial, we have created a simple project. That we have created a simple web application using Streamlit where the user can upload an input image and it will perform object detection on that input image. Okay. Aside from the agent part, uh, Gemini Code Assist also offers chat completion. Gemini Code Assist can make multiple file changes into your code base as well while previously uh, it can only make a single file change but uh, the new advancements or new updates uh, it can uh, make multi-file changes as well so like in this tutorial we have used gmni code assist agent to create a simple web application using streamlit where the user can upload an input image and it will perform object detection on that input image and results look very good so that's all from this tutorial. Thank you for watching.